Right, we're doing a track running on an OD A4. We're doing both sides because you can see in that kit. Yeah. So first thing we do, we get our grips onto here, just like that, and our spanner onto there. So we've got something like that. Yeah, and we turn our grips and crack our nut, which I've already done. Yeah, once you crack your nut, you've then got a 13 mil spanner on top of there. Undo that one, which I've done. It comes out just like that. This one, you screw it right out. Oh gosh, let's get this done. Yeah. Take that out. Once that's out, just put it back a couple of turns, just like that. Then move on to this one. Yeah. Get your ratchet spanner. Undo that one. So you got that one off. Like that. Put your nut and bolt back together so you'll be able to find them. Right. Really, you should get a hammer. Just tap that. And you can see it move. So take your nut back out now, your bolt. Okay. I try and use one tool for everything. Bar in there. Let's prise it down, which is not happening. So what we gotta do? Get another bar. Hold on. To it. Get a bar in between there. And there you go. It's out. Once that's out, you simply should be able to unscrew this. So what we gotta do here is show you just how we do that. We get our spanner here on there and we get a large uh, green spanner we'll put it over there like that it may not be the easiest way to try that way yeah it's a bit fiddly oh so well you get the idea you can see how tight it is That's tight, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll get back to you, yeah? Okay, we've got our track on it undone. Right, there's no wrong way or right way of doing this. Basically, you've got to get it undone. So I've put my spanner on there. I've got a bit of tubing, put it through there, stop that against there, and turn. See, that's how I managed to get it undone. Now, it could be a nightmare. Or it could be easy, but there's no right way or no wrong way of doing it. Yeah, let me screw that out. how long it takes to come out of that blood oh my sword again Sorry. all right we get in there you can feel it okay once i got it out yeah before i take it out what i do once i crack that nut and i screw it backwards till it just touches against the edge of there so it's right back where it should be and then i start unscrewing it when you unscrew it you can count the number of turns before it comes out so when you put it back you count the same amount of turn until it gets back to where it's supposed to be or till it reaches where they're not supposed to be yeah and that's about it okay good luck yes. okay there you are that's my new track rod ends let's get that out of the way yeah and that's the old one yeah these didn't come with new nuts yeah so what i've done i've put it 
in that position on the original. Line them up like that. And I've got my tip X here. Yeah? And I marked it just before the nut. And I've wound the nut on up to there. And that should be roughly where it needs to be. Now, all I've got to do is take it over here. If I can find where to switch my light on. There. Yeah? Get my steering up there. Screw that back in. Just like that. Up to where my nut is. And then once I got it up to there, I'll just show you briefly. Save me just winding around. Okay, I'll wind it in and then I get back. Once I've got my truck rope in, I'll screw it back on up to the nut. It's not tight, yeah? I've now got to get this ball joint in through here, yeah? This bolt goes through there, but it must also line up with there, yeah? So I'll, do, I'll get my grips on here. Wow, stupid grips. Hang on, bear with me. Just catch it in there. And I get my grips and I turn it roughly to where I need it to be. Just like that. Looks about right. Then I pull my arm back like that. And line up my joint at the same time. So I've got it all lined up. Let's give it a little tap. Just a little tug on it at the same time. It should go up. And I get my bolt in place. There. there you go, it's that simple. Then I get my 13 mil and I put it in there. Put my nut on there. While I'm putting them both in at the same time, trying to be smart. Get my 17 mil spanner. Just pull that up a little bit. This one, the reason I tighten this one first is to make sure that my ball joint is pulled up as tight as it can go, otherwise, I could lock it up and it's not tight. One minute, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, once I've got my nut tightened there and there, I now make sure that I've tightened at the back here. Oh, I remember anything that hasn't got a torque setting must be a T tight without stripping the thread. Alright, now yeah, I'm happy with that, but the tracking still has to be done so it will be slack and, and adjust again. And that's about it. Let's change the board, right? And good luck because.